Hello friends and students. So in the previous video segments we have studied and we have understood the working of a demultiplexer and we have seen the design of 1 is to 2, 1 is to 4 and a 1 is to 8 demultiplexer. Now what is a demultiplexer? A demultiplexer has a single input and multiple outputs. So basically we have to distribute the input to one of the outputs and that is defined by the select lines. So if we have a number of outputs, we can define the number of select lines as m to be equal to log n to base 2 and this is what we have seen. So now is it possible for us to realize a full subtractor using a 1 is to a d max? Yes, it's possible. So how do I realize a full subtractor using a 1 is to 8 d max is what we should see here. Now this is the truth table of a 1 is to 8 d max. So a d max has an enable here. So if enable is 0, irrespective of the select lines, all the outputs are 0. And then the enable being 1, if the select line is 0, 0, 0, I get the input at y0. If the select line is 0, 0, 1, I get the input at y1 and so on. And if the select line is 1, 1, 1, I get the input i at y7. This is what we had seen in the previous video segment. So now how do I realize a full subtractor? For that, we need to have the two table of a full subtractor. A full subtractor has three inputs. So let me define it as a, b and b in or b, i for the borrow input. And then you have the difference and borrow out. So you have eight combinations, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So now I need to define the difference and borrow out for these eight combinations. Right? So how do I do that? Now what is the difference here? In the first case, 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0. So the difference is 0. So here the difference is 0 and borrow out is 0. In the next case, 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 1. So 0 minus 1, I need a borrow 1. So when I borrow 1, 1, 0 is 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So difference is 1. Borrow out is also 1. So next, 0 minus 1. So what is 0 minus 1? 0 minus 1. I need a borrow. And it is 1. So 1 minus 0 is again 1. So I have 1, 1 here for the next case. And then I have 0 minus 1 is 1 with a borrow 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So difference is 0. Next, 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. So difference is 1. There is no borrow. So I have 1, 0. Next here, 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So 0 difference and 0 borrow. Here, 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Here 1 minus 1 is 0. So 0 minus 1 is 1 with a borrow. So you get 1, 1. So these are the combinations. So I get 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 1, 1. So what are the expressions for difference and borrow out? So the expression for difference is summation m. So I get the difference for 1, 2, 4 and 7. 1, 2, 4 and 7. Whereas for borrow out, I get 1 for 1, 2, 3 and 7. So it is 1, 2, 3 and 7. Okay, so I am not expanding and expanding it and writing the expressions for difference and borrow out. So now let us see how we can realize a full subtractor using a 1 is to 8 d max. So 1 is to 8 d max has one input and you have three select lines. It is S2, S1 and S0. So now what am I going to give for S2, S1 and S0? For S2, S1 and S0 I give A, B and the borrow input. And this is a 1 is to 8 d max. 
and I'm going to tie the input to logic 1. Right? So you're going to give 1 and you have the outputs. The outputs are y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, 6 and 7. So basically we have 8 outputs. Now when ABC is 0, difference in borrow is 0. So let this be the difference and let this be borrow out. Now where do I get a 1? I get a 1 for the combinations. So difference output is 1 when the input is 1, 2, 4 and 7. Okay, so for those combinations, difference is 1. So I need to connect 1, 2, 4 and 7 to an OR gate. And for all other combinations of the input, which is A, B and B in, what is the difference? Difference will be 0. So the difference is 1 for the combinations 1, 2, 4 and 7. So I have connected all of them to a 4 input OR gate and I get the difference output. Now similarly for borrow out, I get this borrow out to be 1 for the combinations 1, 2, 3 and 7. So for 1, so this is 1 here. So 1 and then I have 2. So 2 is here. And then 3, and then of course 7. So borrow out will be 1 for these combinations. So now this works as a full subtractor, where the input is always tied to 1, state 1, and the select lines are given to A, B, and B borrow input. And then if you connect these respective outputs to an OR gate, you get the difference and borrow out. So this is how we can realize a full subtractor using a 1 is to 8 DMUX. And to view all the other videos in digital electronics, you can click on the i button or you can also go through the playlist digital electronics and do not forget to like, share and subscribe and thanks.